Let me eat coffee. and then I'll record it in a little bit. I'm fucking, I'm hungry. <laughs> TJ, talk so we can edit some of it out. Oh, I will. I'll wait for. I don't have. Wait, I've never talked a day in my life. No. I don't know what you're talking nice about. Guy. I love That's everybody. Nice look at these puppy dog eyes. I know. Look at them. Uh, guys, look, it started lightning all of a sudden. <laughs> Amazing when everybody starts moving. I didn't have a chance to talk. Who's there? Puppy dog eyes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've seen one of their. One of their I'm just going to say, I'm Lambo Daddy. Uh, that I've is broken true. more. I've broken at least six point eight million dollars worth of Lambos in the past three weeks. Yeah. So. And then we've just seen Joe Tech's trailer pull up today, so and they bring the Lambo no telling what's coming out of there. So. Bodies, Lambos, GTRs. Yeah. 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 Better, Break better figure it out. McLarens. We you McLaren? we oh, broke yeah, we the McLaren. McLaren. I got to watch that. Kobe broke him, then I broke him again. Best thing was when you uh, slapped two stickers on the same Lambo <laughs> at the same time. Did not even let the driver out of the car. <laughs> Dude's in his car and they're pushing his broken Lambo back and TJ's running to grab stickers because he cannot contain himself longer. So uh, before the guy even got out of his car, TJ had two stickers on a uh, half a million dollar car. I need you to explain this to Greg because Greg's followers wanted to know where he's been because he's a no prep guy. Okay. And now we're introducing a no prep guy to the prep daddy. So- We've broken some prep from no, some no prep guys. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. It gets so tight and they're like, Ooh. <laughs> so this is, this is why I do what I do. So uh, as a promoter in the drag racing industry and as a worker at the Texas Motorplex, we rely on sponsors a lot. Well, you know how you get sponsors? You provide good races, good racetracks, good everything, good customer service. So when a car comes up here and they shatter their shit, what are they gonna do? <laughs> they're gonna go over into the pits, they're gonna go to that vendor booth that I sold, or that sponsor, and they're gonna say, hey man, I shattered my shit on TJ's track. I'm gonna need to buy at least a $4,000 rear end. I'm gonna need to get this, I'm gonna need to get that. And guess what, that sponsor leaves out that gate happy as Happy as hell. That's right, and then next year they're like, we like to, we want two booths next year at the yep. mill. We have to bring more axles to the race. <laughs> yeah, it's sold out. <laughs> so in case anybody was wondering, this is TJ's next purchase right here. This is his C8 Corvette that he's having tested this week. Cassie watches this video, we're just kidding. Y'all watch Greg's face. Y'all watch Greg's face when this car leaves. He'll be back at every prep event now. Go see what this uh, top secret tuner is doing over here. What are we doing, Stephen Ayer? Uh oh. You know, got any gas? Gas light's not on yet. It's time to go faster or slower? Faster. Apparently, there's a. Uh, uh, a learned throttle angle offset. <laughs> New car tuning. Needless to say, I reset everything. Okay. So it's like, fresh. I like it. Yeah. Two right. passes in a row, it closes the throttle body if you're revving too high. So. I said two passes, he closed the throttle body on him, so he's trying to, he's trying to figure that out. secret i mean it sounds good for stock is what i meant right i mean it's a great stock vehicle all right so quick question yeah when he's done okay you guys got a little bit of a grudge going on uh, you guys raised him in the vet what happened yeah What's me up? and junior cheeseburger yeah, yeah we've got a uh we got a little bit of a grudge going on um 
This is why I was I was actually told not to bring my Corvette tonight, so that way Cheeseburger could get some test passes in, and I didn't embarrass him at his own place of business. So uh, you should watch. We're, we're going to try to bring something. All right. See that number down there? Like 1179 at 118? That Corvette would walk out of his life. I'd give him the hit and I'd still walk out of his life. And chase him like that? Yeah, I'd chase him down for sure. Yeah. That old vet'll tear him up. What'd you run in the vet last time you were here? Uh that one's like eleven forty three, I think was my fastest. I think eleven forty three was I'm the fastest. Get him in it. On it too. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's on street tires. Remember, he's on a drag pack. Not me. Street tires. You need a drag pack on that vet, bro. No, no, no. Come on, get, get in trouble, man. You never know. You how, never how many uh, how many likes or views will it take to put that drag pack on? Oh, on the vet? I think 10,000 and I'll do it. Yeah, 100,000 I'll supercharge it. 100,000 I'll send it to Amp to supercharge it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, let me get through Santa Claus first, okay? Let's get through Santa Claus first. <laughs> All right, we'll check back on you later. All right, Wait, you're no. making a pass? After uh, Steve or still got another one? If somebody happens to leave their <laughs> keys in their vehicle and it is unlocked, there's no telling what kind of pass I might make tonight. I mean, if the golf cart has keys in it, I'm going down. It's just happening. Chris, what kind of car is in the sand trap right now? It's another Mustang. Here we go. Here we go. Language. Yeah. I swear, you it's guys. It's okay. It's YouTube. You guys, are, you guys over here with these Mustangs no, always no, ruin no. everything. No. Yes. So we got four guy for over and all over the Mopar. Place. Leaking shit all over the place. I mean, sorry, wrong team. Or building sand castles. There's definitely got to be like an erector set with a little like something excavator. And oh shit no, down there. I got it. I, I got go. it. I know what it is. He wanted the no prep. <laughs> yeah. So we, we're no prepping, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So this is how you distract Ford owners on the line. We just put a uh, sandbox playset on there. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, this is what this is what your Mopar guys have to do in order to for to, for us not to beat them in the sixty foot is they have to give us a sandbox to play in so they we can out they can out sixty foot us. Look, look, he's he's waiting for his buddy to go down there and yep. help him. Yeah, I got he's another one going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's head first. Head first in the sand, waiting well, for this. You know, every time the charger goes down there, just mouthful of that giant. Sand. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, the problem with the Mopars is, is they weigh so much, we would never be able to get them out. The night would be over if Chris sent a car into the sandbox. You have to go call the like uh, ecologist or whatever the animal one people are oh, when yeah. the whales get yeah. beached. Yeah, you need to crane. Save yes. the turtles. That'll yeah. be y'all's next yeah. thing. We're down there. We're saving the yeah. turtles. Yeah. We're, getting, we're getting Chris Bailey's cars out of the sand trap and saving turtles. He's an environmentalist. That's what it is. Chris Bailey, the environmentalist. We need to remember that.